just cut a hole in the net. You just want to go ahead first. You just went straight through it? Went straight through it, guys. Oh my gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, Let's head him up. Woo! With Catch Em All Fishing with Zach Ketchum. Look at this fish. Oh my God. Catch him up. Check out these massive gar. Now, we caught these guys. They're doing phenomenal. I love them so much, and I really want to have a feeding video with them, but I can't control what happens with these fish in nature, guys. And we got all of these koi fish, guys, like hundreds of koi fish. Now, we can show you a little clip of what half of them look like. We had all these koi. We got all these koi from my friend, Stony, guys. And we had much larger ones. We obviously got rid of them. But we still have the smaller ones that we're trying to grow out before we get rid of them as well. So check these out. All these guys, I know, they're phenomenal. We put our archer fish with them too to help the archer fish have something to compete with, guys. The archer fish were inside this pond, and now we're using this pond to house one of Joey's fish. I, I, dude, I should get that thing out for you guys really quick. Because honestly, that fish is really cool. So we got these guys. Look at all of them. Now, if you look at the mix, they're pretty much all the same type of fish we got like the biggest like the best looking ones but there's a lot of fat goldfish in here too if you look in the mix of these there's some even albino ones see there's really fat goldfish in the mix of all these so we have koi fish and we have goldfish massive goldfish like these this is a goldfish right here hi baby <laughs> it came right up to him. that is a goldfish with the fan tail you see that guy yeah. Hello, hello, hello. And there's an albino one. Check this albino one. Come over here really quick. Come over here. Look at that one right in the mix. This fat lard is a goldfish. So we have all these fish out here, guys. We're feeding them. They're doing good. The archer fish are competing with them. It's, it's, it's really great. I love having this part of my tank system. This is an amazing little pond that we built and we set up. And we have these other ponds in case we catch something really cool. We want to keep it for a second. We want to give it to a friend. As you guys know, I've made a bunch of other YouTubers. They're all fishing. Paul Gaffaro, uh, Blake Zard, Ammo Ranch. We have Biggie Star. We have so many people that I've held out. Blue Gabe even. Uh, gosh, uh, Chandler. How, dude, I, I, so many people. I just love them. But if we catch something really cool, one of them might want to fish. Everyone loves fish. All of my friends, all of my circle of friends, they love fish and they love stuff that's going on. But like these garfish, they're so big and I actually made that pond just for them. But it sucks because now out of nowhere, all these koi fish decide to have babies and I don't know what else I could do about them but to take out the garfish. This is a solid four foot garfish, a four foot long nose. Now, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to scoop this guy and we have a second one that's also just as big right over here. I'm not sure if you can see with the glare behind this, these two koi because we're, gonna, we're just gonna have to get rid of them. Not get rid of, but move to an isolated pond that we can catch them again because if you look straight down, excuse me, if you look straight down over here at the, the baby koi fish, look at them. Here, let's get them up. Let's get them up. Hey guys. Once they smell this, this food will come up. Check them out on the surface. They're all starting to come up on the surface, eating the koi food. See them all? Mm -hmm. My God. Zoom into a couple of them if you can. The closer ones maybe. Dude, so these are all koi fish, guys. I read the comments below. I did some research on my own. I did some Googling. They're koi fish. So if I raise these things up, they're going to be beautiful, beautiful koi fish just like these. Now. Two of these guys, that might even be the mother. For all I know, this fantail might even be the mother. I'm not sure if this is a male or female or what's going on, but both of those larger koi, not the bright orange one, but both of these smaller ones came from that huge amount of koi that we had when I had my girlfriend in there with the pond. Here you go. Oh, enjoy <laughs> the arowana and everything. Now, you've got the, <laughs> look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's so friendly. Look at that tiger. Oh my god. I know, he comes right up. We've had this guy for only a couple of days. He comes right up and eats out of my hand. They all eat out of my hand. They were beautiful, beautiful fish. But these two koi fish right here, dude, they're part of that same, like just huge amount of koi fish we had that somehow made all those. Look at them on the surface. Look at all of them. You, can, you guys can definitely see now there's hundreds. You can see there's hundreds of small koi fish. Zoom in and out of that. That's just ridiculous. Can you see them all? <laughs> this is it's just it's insane like the only way that we're going to be able to move all of these fish 
is by moving these two giant guards. Zoom just a tad. Oh my goodness. There are so many. Keep zooming in. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. So what we gotta do now, it's gonna be a pain, but we have to move these four footers. Now, I have this bag from Mad Fish Gear. I've had this thing for a long time. It's done me a lot of service. I've transported Paku, all sorts of stuff. Koi, this bag is the goat, guys. And this is actually where I transported these garfish in before, and it was a long drive, believe me, to catch these fish. So what we're gonna do now is we gotta get in this pond and get these giants out. Guys, it's gonna be a little bit of a pain. I'm literally just gonna put a tiny pinch of water in here. Check it out. There's not much going in. Uh oh just missed the whole entire bag, but there's not much going inside this bag. Just a little bit. If you guys can see that, it's just enough for these fish to stay wet because these fish can drown. When I had a, a smaller pond back in the day, I actually tried to keep some of these fish before and I failed because the cooler that it was in, they actually drowned. They got stuck and they drowned, which sucks. It really, 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 really does. So when they get too stressed when you catch them and stuff, and you're transporting something like this, a garfish, honestly a wet towel is just as good as anything. Or if you have a larger bag like this, just put a little tiny pinch of water in there so they can come up and breathe air and that they're just wet. I'm telling you, guys, I drove three hours with them in there for them to be perfectly fine like they are right now. Oh, check it out, check it out, he's going in the light for you. Look at that whole thing, head to tail. That thing is four feet long. Now, I don't want to break his face, so, while you're supposed to catch fish head first, the best way to do this would probably be tail first. Now check it out. So I don't hurt him. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I do not, this is, <laughs> he's not fitting the net very well. He's not fitting the net very well. <laughs> Look at the teeth on that thing. My God, come on over here, buddy. Come on over here. See, his teeth get caught in the net. So, if I could just, Scoop them this way somehow. So docile. <laughs> yeah. They're good fish, which is almost impossible. I don't know if I'm going to do this. Uh, Does it I, look like it's the right tool for this job? Yeah, right. I'm going to have to go head first. Oh, come here. Now he knows I'm messing with him. And now he's acting a little pissed. Come on. All right. Come on. Relax, buddy. Relax, buddy. Relax. Relax, buddy. Okay. That is a big fish. A big fish that's not gonna like this. Alright. Oh, 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 just cut a hole in the net. And that's why I just wanna go ahead first. You just went straight through it? Went straight through it, guys. And that's how you get a hole in your net. We're gonna try this again. <laughs> Dang it. You're gonna go to that's a better home. Yeah for a temporary visit. Just gonna hook, go ahead, grab this guy out, nice and quick. Relax. Now there's scales. Scales of this fish are like shark teeth. If you go against the green with them, they'll cut you right in half. So what I need to do, get them in and out. Oh God, oh no. All right, another hole in the net, no! God. All right, so this is gonna be a challenge. This is gonna be a challenge. All right, now I gotta get this guy in here without him cutting the pond open. Because as you guys saw, they have sharp teeth and they will cut the pond open too. So, come on buddy, relax. Just let me pick you up real quick. Relax, I know, I know. Thank God. Now I need to get the other one, finish destroying our net, and take them to their new spot. Poor net. Really had no chance. I knew that though. Luckily Bass Pro Shops is somehow an essential business. <laughs> I think it's because of the boats or whatever, but I'm not complaining guys. So let me get this guy over here, away from that netting. Come on, come on. Yep, just swim right on in. Right on in, buddy. Come on. Oh my God. Get him out, get him out. Oh no, 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 no. God, God. All right. 
I just literally got pond water in yeah. my mouth. Yeah, we have something in our mouths right now. Relax, relax. Relax, relax, please. Relax. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. No, no, it's not. No, it's not okay. All right. Come on, just do like your friend. Just do like your friend. It's all good. Go on. Go on to a new place. Nice quick, isn't it? Oh my god. We got him out. Wasn't the easiest thing ever, sacrifice a $40 net, but it's not that big a deal. We'll get another net as long as the fish are okay. And we're gonna go ahead and zip this up. Now, I'm gonna bring this to the new home. All right, guys, we're at the spot. Isolated lake, can't get out of here, there's no way. Uh, my goodness. Private Papata. I don't know. Hopefully we see these fish again. They are gigantic. Let's see if I can hold one out for you. Oh my god. <laughs> this, is, this is ridiculous. It's All like right. a goodie bag. I know. Okay. Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay. Alright, this oh. one's gone. Come on, Let me you give you a good push. shove, buddy. Chili. Are you gone? See you later, bud. You good? Ooh. Dude. Here goes one. Just gonna come get air in a second. Yep. See if I can pull this one out for you. So you guys can see the true length of it. Hopefully she doesn't bite me. Messed up a little bit right there. Okay, don't bite me. Relax. I see, I feel you tensing up. I don't want you to. I don't want you to. Relax, relax, stop dropping. No, let me just take a picture really quick. I love you. <laughs> okay. One more try. One more try. Uh, check this out. Ah, I feel you tensing up. Ah! One more. Oh, one, more one more try, okay? Just one more try, please. Please, I really want to picture you in case I never see you again. Please. Please, please, just one more try. Please! Please! Good thing Gar like tanks, guys. Can't really hurt him. Unless you shoot an arrow through him. Check this out. What a giant. <laughs> a beautiful fish, guys. Check that out. Just got some air. See you later. Put the both together right now. They're gonna be just fine. Whew. And hopefully, since this is crystal clear water, but this one's gonna get air. So this is crystal clear water. One's going to the right, one's going to the left. That one's gonna get air. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Hopefully, guys, since this is crystal clear water, we'll explore this place. There's plenty of bait back here. And uh, hopefully, we can catch them again, guys. So stay tuned for the next episode. We're gonna try to raise those little koi fish protected in their own pond, big 10 foot enclosure, plenty of room, fresh flowing water 24 seven from the lake. Hopefully we can raise those koi fish here. Over there to the left. Yeah. And this one over here, they're gonna swim right over there into the deeper water in a minute. Getting in here. Oh my gosh, they look so good. Oh uh, my babies are water. <laughs> <laughs> together, look at the bass looking at them. Sorry, you're not gonna eat those things. They're about to be sandwiched. Everything in this pond is about to be a sandwich. Oh, Man. that's funny, that bass. I know, right? So, hey, what you doing? <laughs> what you doing in here? But yeah, guys, so that's the best thing for them right now to make sure that those koi don't suck on them. If you looked at them, they're a little red on the sides and in their eyes and stuff because the small koi are actually sucking away all of that slime coat from the fish. So I had to take these gar out. The gar eating the koi, the koi are eating the gar. Just not a good mix, guys. So these guys are going to be nice and safe in here. Look at them swimming around. See you later guys, we'll come back and we're gonna try to catch both of you soon. We're gonna make a much bigger enclosure for them because honestly 10 feet for a four foot fish is like, it's not the best guys. So stay tuned for the next episode. We got a lot to do. And unfortunately we have to get rid of Shamu guys. So catch them all. Catch them all. Woo!